everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I went out and I got some fish. Hey, Karen, I'm doing my intro here. I love you, baby, but you gotta let me be me. Uh, it's not gonna work out if you keep butting in like that. Sorry about that. Karen can be a bit obtuse. Anyway, so now I've got a whole bunch of fish and I'm gonna put... Try to put two of each of these in here at a time. And they're gonna have it. Whoa, he is not happy about where he is. And then one boomerang. Okay, so I got a bunch of fish in here, and I've, I eventually imagine that when I come back, this bizarre creature egg is just- it's- it's pulsating. That creature egg is pulsating. It was not pulsating before. That is weird. Oh, that's weird. But anyway, I got a bunch of fish in here, and I'm gonna use the planter on, uh, I guess I could put a creep vine in there, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I- I've got some weird stuff like, uh, Whoa, what is a floater? I don't want to know what the floater is, but there's, um, acid mushroom. There's also what's known as a deep shroom, which is like a rare thing that I found from way, way underwater. So I'm going to try to put that in there. And I got my aquarium here. Deep shroom in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're pulsating too. Oh, I'm so glad everything in my alien aquarium is pulsating so weirdly. But that's okay, I guess. Okay, so I can't- I can't believe I'm so excited that I have an aquarium when I'm in the middle of the ocean, like literally surrounded by all of these fish. But that's besides the point. I don't get to- New species discovered, really? But th in this way, I get to feel like I'm in control, whereas everything else I've done is absolutely not in control and completely out of my hands, both in terms of me dying and everything trying to kill me. Both end up me dying, but you, you get the point. Okay, so in this episode, I'm going to fix up my Seamoth a little bit better because I know it got banged up the last time, but then I am going to venture out and explore a bit beyond where I have gone before because I need to find the Torpedo Bay. Thank you, Skype. I'm not interested right now. Shut up. Okay, so apparently I looked up where to find the torpedo upgrade. People weren't very clear on where it was or how it was. It seemed like they said it was already a part of this, or they were using com- like console commands, which is something that I don't exactly want to do. But either way, so what I have now is I have the ability to get, uh, one more pre depth thing. I've got a computer chip to spare because I just scrapped my modification station, and I have plasteel because I have tons of titanium and I've got lithium. So I can do that, so I'm gonna- I'm just craft this up real quick, BRB, but I'm gonna get that done. And boop. And boom goes the dynamite. The, the sea moth can now go down to 825 meters below. If I was feeling really ballsy, I would get all three of them in there, but frankly, no, let's do that. Let's do that. I want it all three of them there. I want to go as deep, as deep as possible in this game, and I know that's got to be deep. I know a thing or two about going deep. Uh, still doing okay in there? All right. I'm trusting you on this. Ooh, I want to look at the observation bay. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I can see nothing. <laughs> I, I picked a good view, but it's obscured by all the gunk and, and fish poop that's floating around in the waters. I wonder if I'm gonna see a wild Sancho just like drift slowly by. Okay, and pull this out, put this in, and boom! Safe depth is now 925 meters. We can now go below a thousand meters below the surface. This is really, really cool. The fuck a duck is going to go where we've never, ever gone be before. I don't even know how we're gonna get there, but we're gonna go for it. So first I'm gonna get out and repair. Oh, first I need to get food for the road because I'm not gonna survive if I'm stuck like this. No, don't do that. Oh no, but I put all the fish in the aquarium. I'll have to eat some of them. <laughs> no, I never eat my pets. It's a weird thing. Fishy, fishy, come find me. Fishy, fishy, eating me. Fishy, fishy in the sea. Fishy, fishy, get in my inventory. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't- I didn't actually take a look at my base from out- out far after I built it. I mean, it looks a little ramshackled and odd and misshapen, but that's the way I like things. That's my type. <laughs> misshapen and odd. Okay, so now I got- oop, I got one more hoop fish. Eh, I don't need it for now. I'm just gonna put that away. 
because I am almost out of salt of all things. I keep running out of the most bizarre things that I never think of getting. So I got two waters for the road and then two cured items for the road, so that should do me good. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to get... I need to get a new knife, because if I don't have a heated blade, I, I definitely need a blade, period, uh, because I need to cut things out of the environment. But I can eat some creep vine if worse comes to worse. I don't think worse is gonna come to worse, but I need it. Okay, so we got everything we need for the road. It is probably currently night, and we're gonna go in a direction that we have not really gone before or been able to explore, and I think the deepest reaches are back where I originally found, like, the moon pool area, kinda to the south. So I'm gonna go over that way and explore that area because deep, 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 deep down, also to the west was another area where the floating things were. Um, meeny meeny miny mo, kids talk about the toe. I will go to the south because I've already been to the- No! I'll go southwest, whatever. <laughs> Make a compromise here. Let me save before I do that. Who knows what could happen in the darkness. But we are going to go on an adventure! Finally! We can go so deep down. And this also means that bumping into things won't do too much damage until I get way, 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 way below. Actually, I, I think it'll probably still do some damage, so... Bye-bye! Bye-bye, housey! Oh, hello. I'm going the wrong way. Bye-bye, house! You be good, shippy-shippy! I'll come back to you eventually! I'll find all the exploded fragments of you someday! Good god, I forgot that this ocean was populated by horrible aliens. Alright, let's not bump into the rocks. Whew. See you on the other side. Oh, we found another entrance into this area. That's cool. But I don't think I want to follow it because I'm scared. Oh gosh. Alright, we already explored this deep area, so we're gonna go even deeper. Because this is barely reaching the the possibilities for this seamoth to go. And this seamoth can go pretty deep. Hello, goodbye. Ah shit. Oh, health down to 77% on that one blast? Damn it. Better, 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 better. Whoa, wait, is this, oh, is this? Oh, that was the exit to the ship that I found before. This is the place where I was. Oh. Hmm. I honestly don't know if there was anything else that I needed to explore in there. there. Seems to be some sort of opening here. I'm gonna give it one more go, but if there's nothing interesting, then I'm just gonna head back. I got a knife. No one wants to mess with me. Yo, nothing. A whole lot of nothing. It didn't seem like there was a whole lot going on there. Whoa, what the frick? What did that? Whoa, what did that? Okay, got it. Got something. I don't know what I got, but I got it. Ooh, don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. I'm out of here, baby. Okay, all right. Good thing daylight come. Carry me home. Okay, off we go! Into the abyss again. Deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, crossing a million depths. Oh, there's so much, there's so much. Oh god, I shouldn't be, <laughs> I shouldn't be out here by myself. So much quartz though. I want it, I want it all! It's amazing that the, like me, a simple human, can take these pressures. Not for long, though. Okay. Possible cave opening. Down there, a thousand meters. Is that even possible to reach? How in the hell would you do that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what are those? I think I've seen those before. Oh, we're going even deeper. Whoa, oh, we can go so much deeper. Oh, we can go so much- Oh, we've reached a new area! Oh, God! Uh, uh, horrifying! Ugh. It even sounds terrifying! What is that?! Is that something I can scan? Why is that still on fire? Oh, man. Whoa! What are you?! I have not seen you before! What the F?! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna hop out for just a hot second here. Okay, that's not scannable. Back in! Back in! Get back Welcome in! Welcome aboard, oh. Captain. Thank you, Karen. Oh, we are out of here. 
Okay, I don't know how to get to that possible cave opening from here, but it seems way down there. It seems wiggity way down there. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even think if it was broad daylight that the sun would be able to get down this far. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is broad daylight and the sun is not able to get down this far. That's exactly the reality of the situation. I don't see a way further deeper, so I'm gonna climb out of this plateau and I'm going to... I'm gonna try to find a way to navigate safely out of here. I'm gonna climb out of here and then... Whoa! Where the... Where the hell is the exit? Oh. Oh, oh, did I reach the edge of the map? What is this? Oh my god, what is this? What is this? It's just a sheer drop into nothing! Was I supposed to go here? Oh, this is not where I was supposed to be. Oh, still going down. Oh, still going down. Still nothing. I'm pretty sure this is just the edge of the map, and I was not supposed to be here. But just to test the limit, I'm gonna go down. And, uh, I'm going to, uh, see what happens when we get so far down that we go nowhere. Yeah, this is, this is, this is game breaking. Passing safe depth. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this just is perpetually nothing. Oh, that's so scary though. Oh, it's so scary. Just, it literally is a sheer drop into nothing. There's nothing over there. Oh boy. What is this? Oh, I thought that was quartz. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, what is this luminescent algae? Let's explore it. Gru cluster? The hell is a Gru cluster? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, 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 Gru. Uh, <laughs> it does nothing. It does nothing. I'm just a horrible person murdering these poor plants or animals. I don't know what they are. Ugh. They ain't human, so they don't matter. <laughs> Chica's not human, she matters. Whoa, this is some weird cave. I just realized what could possibly happen. I- Am I in an underwater cavern? And could this possibly be home to the giant horrible monsters? <laughs> is that- Is that a possibility that I'm approaching? Is that entirely a possibility? Because I have a funny feeling that I'm approaching something that I shouldn't be approaching. Aw, oh, crap. Damn it. Another dead- Oh, wait, man. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Unless this is the way I just came. It's getting a little confusing here. Yay, okay, freedom! I never want to go in there again! Hate confined spaces down below. Still don't know how to get to that, but it may be over here. This is where I found the... Uh, the moon pool plans, and I was never able to go all the way down to it, so hopefully, HOPEFULLY, there's something happening. Sorry, fish! Well, I am annihilating my seamoth just by annihilating these fish. But it's their fault they got in my way, it's not my fault. I'm not the asshole. What are these things, anyway? Weird. That's a weird rock formation. Almost as if it was planned. Super cool though. This is all so cool. I mean, I know this is a fake world, but I, I like feel like I'm exploring something real and alive. Like that's what that's what makes this game so great is that it's so real. It's so real to me. Not in the way that like, oh, it's a virtual reality, I can touch it. No, it seems logical. This seems honestly and truly like an alien ocean. And that just may be from ignorance on my understanding of our ocean, but frankly. This is terrifying. Hello, God, you freaky spade fish. This is terrifying. Terrifying. Terraformifying. This is terrifying and awesome and just so like, it's just a situation of curiosity killed the cat. I'm afraid to death to go down here and I'm afraid of our own ocean, but it's just like, oh, there's so much, oh, there's so much to see. Is this just, yeah, that's just end of game. End of game. End of game. End of game. I really do wonder, like, if I can get down to that cave opening all the way down there, if there's some way that I can do that, there's gotta be something. Gotta be something cool at the bottom of that. Gotta be. I'm running out of energy, though. I may have to dock back home 
I mean, we did a good bit of exploring and we saw a good bit of crazy things. Whoa! Volcanic vents! Oh, those are real in our ocean too! There's a lot of sea creatures that live around those! Oh, that's cool! This is what I mean! This place feels alive! Like the bottom of the ocean is so cold and so much pressure that it's very hard for life to exist. But there's volcanic vents down at the bottom of the ocean that spew hot water out. And it's just a lot of creatures live there just because it's warm somewhere down where it's just crushing pressure and ice cold. Because, I mean, once you get down there, it's, like, pretty much all just frozen temperature water. Like, freezing temperature or below. Uh, because salt water in the ocean has a lower freezing point because there's so many, uh, it's so many things in the solution of the ocean. But, man. Oh, it's cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so, my next objective, eventually, whoa, where does this go? First, let me see if this goes down. I don't think it does. I don't think it do. Okay. So my next goal that I'll accomplish in the next episode, and I'm going to be doing a lot more in the next episode than I have in this one, um, is to find the entrance to that cave opening and then further uh, expand my base and find a way to confront the giant monster, hopefully kill it. I want to be able to kill that thing, and then look for this secret island. So, thank you everybody so much for watching in the next episode. I'll name a few more names on my wall of heroes. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Click the annotations in the uh, annotations up there or the links in the description for more cool videos that I've done. There's a huge array of playlists of videos that I've done in the past. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Jumping jack the back. I'm in the office room with all the flipping chairs. <laughs>